get it, Bob. Yeah. Get it, Bob. You're finding a new uh, dance move every done, day to enter done the show. Yeah, I don't know why. Every single day. <laughs> every single day. I can't help myself. I like it. Uh, good morning, Cincinnati. I'm Bob Herzog. And I'm Dun Dalton, and we thank you for joining us on Arc Cincinnati. We are warming up, and we are going to do... Ha, la, 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 uh, la, la. Oh, oh, that type of warming up. Yes. I thought we were talking about the weather warming up, but we're going to do, uh, you know, some vocal warm ups ahead of our choir festival here in the tri state. Do, re, mi, fa, so, latido. Also, from football star to, to horror TV show star, Travis Kelsey sure does have an unusual career. We have his big announcement just ahead, but first, what's brewing here in the tri state? Jen mentioned that weather off the top, and that is the biggest story of the day. The weather both last night and what is yet to come. Take a look at this photo right here behind me from Cincy Fire and EMS mm, on X. So firefighter Kristen Worth had to wade. You can see you can see right there had to wade out into that flood water to rescue a driver on Yost Avenue. So this was in North Fairmount. A lot of what we've been talking about has been north of 275. This was North Fairmount. I don't think I've ever seen that happen in North Fairmount. Yeah, I, I mean, just look at the depth of that water. That driver did, by the way, end up being okay last night. So even in areas where you did not see the, the damaging winds and that kind of thing, some places just got so inundated with water mm -hmm. and we were already so saturated. You know yep. what I mean? But I mean, and and you're, you, you go near that area all not the time. Too, not you, too far. Ever. Ever never, seen that? Never seen anything I've like never that. Seen anything now, like I, that. I had a thing. I, I, I told you I was coming down Queen City. You come past La Fuel, it's kind of dark yeah. there down the curve. I hit a man eater of a yeah. pothole. I mean, a right oh, now, the I, prob holes. I probably got a flat tire out there right now. And we're, <laughs> we're just going to continue to find more and more issues, I think, yeah. throughout the day. Yeah, well, we're still waiting on more details from a National Weather Service. Uh, but our weather team is tracking at least two potential tornadoes. Our crews found the bulk of the damage was in the northern northern part of the tri-state. Chloe Markley was at this home where a tree fell onto the roof. Officials are asking people to avoid the area because of the potential of downed power lines. And a home was struck by lightning in Sycamore Township. If you, if you were up last night, this is not surprising. There was so much lightning last night, I, I couldn't believe it. But some of the residents are displaced this morning. The Sycamore Township Fire Department says firefighters heard the house get struck. It affected the third floor, blew off part of the chimney. Fortunately, no one is hurt, but the power uh, was you know, understandably shut off as it was hit by lightning. When these kinds of storms happen, we try our best to get out to all different parts of the tri-state. And one of the reasons we can do that is because of what, what you do. A, a lot of times, it's not possible for us to get to a certain right. place, so we need your help. Yeah, and that's why we ask you to send in po photos, and many of you have sent in your pictures through our Chime In on Local 12, so take a look at this picture from Shannon in Harrison, who snapped this picture of some of the massive clouds. Yeah, that's just a interesting. sort of yeah. wild formation there. And we've got another one. This one is from Rob Stone. He says this picture wow, of the that lightning. Cool that is a cool picture. And that's what I'm talking about. It, it was taken in Hebron at around 9.30 last night. So, Jen, I was driving home from Lexington last evening. And so I'm, I'm facing to the north, you know, obviously yeah. the entire drive home. And every, it was the lightning was dancing like that the, the entire way coming in from, for me, probably down around Dry Ridge, you kind of see, see the lightning off in the mm -hmm. distance. It was, it was as active in terms yeah. of lightning as the skies. I can, I can remember in a storm in quite a while, well, if ever, for me. The tornado sirens went off when I had gotten into bed and uh, my son was yeah. very afraid. We went downstairs and I turned on John Gum. Yep. Did and Caroline, same. and he said, John, that's John Gum. He came to my school. And so he, you know, because he did, he talked to his sure. school one time. And so he trusted him. And I'm like, we're just going to watch him. We're going to be okay. But it was literally a square right over our, yeah. our house. I know. I'm like, it. oh my gosh. No, so we didn't say we, we were all we downstairs. Were in the basement. Yeah. Just... So um, thank goodness we were okay. And uh, yep. I know there was some damage. And we're, again, hopefully all humans and, and creatures and everybody are okay. Correct. I haven't heard of any anything major out of this. So Damage, but no injuries no that injuries. I've heard of, which is That's which is wonderful. Um, what we're going to do, we are going to have Tara Blake join us yeah. in, in just a little bit, coming up probably 10, maybe 15 minutes to talk us through not only what happened last night, but the possibility of, of more severe weather yeah. coming this evening as well. So we are not talking, yeah. uh, not done talking not about done, yeah. the weather just yet. Well, Bengals fans can now breathe a bit easier, I should say. So quarterback Joe Burrow says at risk, ha, ha, it feels good after yesterday's workout. Yeah, wrist look good. It's just the hair. The hair is you, just flowing, You like man. the flop, they, didn't they, 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 they like the flop. flop. Yeah, Burrow ad admitted that the uncertainty of the injury did give him pause during his road back to the field. After all, a quarterback's throwing arm in his wrist, you know, it's the lifeline on the field. But he says overall he feels better every day. 
you know, I feel good about where my body is at right now. I'm going to continue to get stronger and bigger for, throughout the off season and uh, just kind of play it by ear depending on how I feel. Uh, like I said, I'm in a good spot right now. I'm really strong, you know, bigger than I was. Uh, we're going to continue to, to eat right, lift, and, and go through my routine and see where I'm at. Because that's what Joe does. Burrow says he's also excited to build relationships with the rookies. He told reporters the team brought in the right kind of guys. And I like to hear that from Joe. John, I think it's about time I get bigger in the offseason. You know what I mean? I think I, I think I need to start some sort of intense lifting pro like like right, like right now. I'm, that's everything I've got right there, and I I, I need you're, more. You're, you're, I almost just you're my back pop when I did that. Did it See, that's why. That's why I shouldn't. Be careful. Uh, that's why I shouldn't. But it, honestly, just seeing him out on the field. Oh, look at the hair. Look at um, the flow. It is such a relief. It's like a Prell commercial. To see him throw that football because that last image, the way the season ended, I'll, I'll never forget him snapping that wrist and trying to throw, and he just couldn't. I know, he and I could joke, not. He could I, not do it. You know, I'm very excited to see him looking so healthy and his his arm. He looking, you know. Is he looking healthy, Jen? Is that how he's looking? I am merely. Is he looking healthy? Scouting for <laughs> my fantasy football team, Bob. This is very professional right now, and I'm looking at wrists and movement yeah, and what is going to yeah. work well on my movement. team during the draft. I'm looking at movement. I'm preparing. I'm scouting. She's looking at movement. Scouting. She's looking at movement. So speak. <laughs> Speaking of the new players, the rookies uh, that Joe is excited about, New Bengals safety Geno Stone has, quote, officially become a Cincinnatian. At least that's how the Bengals Twitter account described Geno in throwing out the first pitch Aww, at yesterday's so Reds cool. game. How about that? That's so neat. Stone played college football at Iowa, spent a few years in Baltimore, and now he is here and officially one of us. One, one of us. us. One Welcome of to us. Yeah. Um, I, to I, I wish uh, going out and throwing the, the first pitch out last night would have brought a little neat. more luck to the Reds. I know. Uh, but that that's uh, they got the game in though, didn't they? They did, which I'm also surprised. surprised me. Yeah. Well, it, and, boy, you talk about just showing depending on where you were. Oh, holy. Moly. Well, yeah. You know, we had soccer practice last night yeah. from five to six thirty, and I thought for sure it was going to get canceled or cut short. But it was just weird. You're like in the like, pocket. We were in the pocket of clear, and then. Right after that was when it things started yep. to, to really come down. So anyway, I digress. Uh, pickleball tournament making its way across the country is in Cincinnati. This is really cool. The Association of Pickleball Players. That's the APP. Okay. You down with APP? <laughs> yes, you, you know, know me. me. All right. You know, he's just been waiting to make that joke all day. <laughs> pickleball players. They are hosting, and I love this name, Bob, the Vlasic Classic. Whoever what? came up with the branding to put these two together is just genius. It will be held at Sawyer Points Pickleball Complex today through Sunday. The tournament will include a wide range of age brackets and skill levels. It's considered a U.S. USA Pickleball designated golden ticket You've got event. a golden ticket. That's right. And this means that gold medal winners can earn the chance to pre-register to compete in the upcoming Pickleball National Championship ah. that will be held in November. It's like uh, it's like one, getting one of them, uh, mm. one of them uh, golden buzzers on that one show. You know the show with the guy who's yes. always mean to with the people? the things and the stuff. Uh, Simon, the things. Which one? The, no, America, America's the Got Talent. Talent. X Factor. One, one of them. Right. One of them. I think Howie Mandel's on it too, yes. and Simon and all. And, and they, Heidi Klum. And you, if you hit the, if you hit the, if they get it's a gold. Sort of like that. You hit the, and they get the gold, and yes. then you get to just skip right on to the, to the next uh, thing. There, there you go. It's not really like that at all. Nope. I was just going with you, letting you think it was like yes. that. Yeah, that's all right. But it's, the Vlasic Classic. You're a Again, good, you're genius a good branding. Yeah. Put those two together. It's a good friend. It's important to have good friends. Um, <gasps> I'm ready for this. This show is for the birds. I don't have to tell you that, but it's time for some bird news. We have like space news. This is, I'm going to go like this for bird news. That's which is butterflies. I don't know why. I, it's uh, bird, yeah. Is it jazz yeah, hands? Why, jazz hands for bird news? I, I, I don't, don't know. even know. But thousands of birds. Oh, there we go. Why am I doing this There's for birds? There's a brand birds? new dance, and it's called the bird. Is it Wednesday? We have to get through Friday, yeah, so by am, Friday it's going to be so out of it today. over the top. Yeah, none of us yep. got any sleep. No. Okay, so, but this is in all seriousness. So thousands of birds will be flying over the tri-state this week. The Cornell Lab of Ornithology predicts Ooh. more than 3 million birds will fly over our area in what? the next few days. Yeah. Uh, the map shows their migration, but don't expect to see these migrating birds during the day. That's because they, they travel at night. What? Experts say you can help these birds by turning off as many lights as possible over the next few days. They and travel the at map. night? That's what they do. And so they were. there was a lot of them that were supposed to be last night. And I wonder if maybe some of oh, them... Oh, the storms. The storms maybe yeah. uh, changed some of that. But again, tonight, 
we're supposed to see a large migration of, of birds. That's pretty wild. Isn't that neat? I mean, that's the heat kind of heat map. The high is obviously in the yellow where you're seeing a lot of the birds. And look, they come right up that way and they continue over the next few days. They just sort of, they just sort of know. Eighth. So, yeah. Huh. Neat. That's, that's a lot of flipping birds, that's man. Lot, that's a lot of flapping birds. Fl Oh, God, I just, yeah, oh my just, it was gosh. right there. I had to it's do it. so, it's so good yeah, oh when man. it just sort of naturally just, just kind of sits right, right there, baby, right there. That, and you know, what, that doesn't birds. just happen, by the way. I've hit the stage of life where I, I'm into the birds. Oh, hey, that's a, hey, that's, that's what we're supposed down. to read. Are, is there, are is you that, trying to, that, are you telling, okay. are you trying to tell us well, that we should move on? That's a behind the scenes look. What? Yeah. What? That, what? It's okay. Tanner's trying to suggest he didn't touch he did. anything. He was like, Jen's starting to it talk up. about birds and her <laughs> bird feeder collection, so let's move on because it's time. It's 8 11. The now, the show must go on, Bob. Indeed. And we take a look behind the curtain at shows you can catch on stage this week. That is next on <laughs> Art Cincinnati. <laughs> Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links, or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.